Hello everyone. So there was a question on my service desk recently about uh, events in uh, Jira and the question was about uh, moving from server to cloud which many people are doing many organizations are doing they are trying to migrate from server to cloud but when you have uh, scripts especially on Jira server then of course you have to migrate them and uh, unfortunately there is no straightforward way to migrate your scripts from server to cloud you have to basically rewrite them and uh, the question was actually about events and the question was that on server there are a lot of events that are available for uh, doing automation wonderful things but on cloud when creating a listener there are not all of them and that is of course true that is definitely the case if you go to your uh, script runner and if you then uh, take a look at your uh, listener that you can of course create on uh, cloud so if you click if you click on this uh, create uh, script listener you have the option here to basically select the event so the question was asking about in the question uh, there was a mention of all issues events so basically on server you can of course uh, basically create a listener for all events all issue events but on on cloud if you look here you don't really have all issue events which is fine but uh, you can basically select multiple uh, events that is also a possibility like issue deleted issue updated and uh, this is of course something that you can uh, probably live with i mean of course when you are uh, dealing with scripts on the cloud as i have been saying you have to use the rest api and the way rest apis work is of course different because when you're dealing with the scripts or when you're doing some automation on the server you are using java apis where you can do things quite i mean i find it quite convenient and easy but uh, on uh, the cloud you have to make a rest call and then you have to wait for it so uh, that is how rest works and uh, the good thing is that you still have an option to write those scripts again or basically recreate those automations again on the cloud but i would also say that i mean of course I, you, you know that i am a fan of uh, script runner and i love script runner i this is of course my this has been my favorite app but at the same time when you're on cloud do take a look at the automation rules because these automation rules can help you replace if not completely but uh, at least uh, it can uh, do those simple uh, automations where uh, the logic is not very complicated of course when you are dealing with uh, a bit more complicated business logic you have to write your own scripts but uh, for those simple use cases where you just need to do things like you know create a subtask automatically or maybe do something when something happens so this th these kind of things you can definitely achieve these kind of automations you can definitely achieve using automation rules and uh, you have wonderful uh, ways to do it uh, i think the, the the user interface of autom automation rules is really easy to use and uh, and if, if you want to of course learn how to do it you can uh, you know watch my videos my free videos on uh, youtube and uh, you can learn about it and that is it that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i wanted to of course talk about listeners but uh, the main topic was i guess uh, to migrate from server migrate your scripts from server to cloud and by the way if you need uh, professional help you can always uh, you know ask a consultant or maybe you can hire someone by the way uh, doing a bit of self promotion i also provide atlassian services you can take a look at my website or my company website sparkses.com and you can learn about what all we do but if you need help with script runner then professionally of course if you are willing to pay if you are looking for a consultant someone who can help you with scripting do let me know and uh, we can discuss it and to reach out to me if you need first of all if you need help uh, if you need some professional help you can uh, go to my website spark this and then you can raise this fill up this form and you will uh, receive a requirement if you just need help 
uh, or if you think you need uh, some of my time, maybe two minutes or three minutes or few minutes, uh, then you can of course go to my website and uh, try to contact me. And you can also, you know, just uh, search on the website where I have plenty of uh, plenty of things to share. For example, if you need help with listener, for example, just type in listener and press enter, and you will be presented with these wonderful videos, articles that can hopefully help you. Okay, that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.